Hi friends, I thought it would be really fun to have my first project feature this cocktail shaker glass. And I'm also using two other products from Scrap Diva, the Say It In Crystals Bling Sheets and the Essentials Bundle number two. I'm using the large rectangle and the two smallest rectangles to make these cocktail shaker place cards. I just thought these would be really cute to have like a crafty night with the girls and give them a little cocktail shaker to take home with them and remind them of where their seat is and how far they can spread out. <laughs> so the first thing I'm doing is I'm just putting a little score mark down the middle of the large rectangle from the essentials bundle. And when you do it halfway, it is just one tick above two and a half. So it's five and a quarter. So you just have to divide five and a quarter in half. And then these little guys just nest right in the middle of that half of the rectangle perfectly. And so I'm just making sure to put enough glue and burnishing it down really good so that none of the ends kind of stick up and you're wondering, a no, I didn't use a specific like collection. There's a little bit of everything as long as it was pink, lime, and yellow. So there's Echo Park, Crate Paper, Bloom Street, just all kinds of stuff from everything in here. When using the bling, I just found it a little bit helpful to take my finger blade and cut on the edge of the glue and that way the bling just lifted right off and stuck right into that little corner beautifully. I'm going to put that off to the side and next up I'm going to get to work on putting together the shaker glass. I did this in this order so that there would be time to dry in between the steps and I could feel confident that none of the sequins would be flying out after I got the edges all glued down. So just putting a little line of glue around the whole thing and then I'll take my foam and stick it on the edges of the, the uh, paper and then just making sure to mess with it, touch it, move it so that it actually is sticking as close to the edge as possible. I use art glitter glue, it dries pretty quick I just pour it into these little bottles so that I can have a really clean line all around it. I realized after I glued it down that I needed to put the straw underneath the foam. I just like the placement of that. It made it feel more secure to me. And so I just stuck that on there and then re-glued a little bit. I did trim this, the straw just a touch. The very first sample I made had the straw going all the way down into the stem. And so I decided that I liked it better just a little bit shorter. You can add whatever sequins you want. I'm choosing to go with my citrusy colors of yellow, green, and pink. It is mostly sequins, but there are some beads that I'm also putting in there as well. And then in the stem, I'm just pouring some sand-like green glitter. The first one I made, I left it empty and it just looked a little bit weird to me. And so in the next two, I put some of the sandy glitter and I will continue to do that for all the ones I make in the future. I do love me some sequins. So I am filling this glass full of sequins. You can see that I'm shaking it, I'm leveling it and just making sure that I have as many as possible in there. Um, there's no rule about how many you have to put in, but I like a lot because I think it makes it look festive and pretty. Now for the fine art of adding the glue around the edge of the foam. It is tedious. If you put too much glue on there, it will squirt underneath the acetate and look all gummy and gross and weird. So I kind of use brush-like strokes, even though it's not a brush, just to make sure that I'm kind of spreading it out. And it gets slightly tacky before I actually put the acetate on. So it has a little bit of body and it's not just smooshing out underneath the acetate when I put it on.
So I'm gonna put this to the side and let it dry a little bit, but you will see me go back to it and press the acetate down as it dries and the acetate becomes a little more tacky while we put together this little citrus. So there is a large circle, a smaller circle, and then there's this ring. The ring is so narrow that I don't wanna put glue on it cause it's gonna get all gluey and, and gunky and weird. So I went ahead and put the glue on the mid-sized circle and then dipped the little one kind of in the back of the glue so that it got enough glue on it to be tacky but not so much that it was gonna be dripping out everywhere. Because that little ring, you may think you don't need it but it really does add a, something to that little citrus. And then there are eight little center pieces that go throughout the middle and they are the sections of the fruit. This is some seriously exotic fruit. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty. And so I went ahead and made this fantasy citrus fruit to put on the edge of this lovely cocktail. If you don't have one of those little jewel picker tools, I tell you what, those come in so handy for a million and one different things, not just picking up flat black pearls, not just picking up jemmies, but it's great for small pieces that you cut out with die cutters or anything else, and they work really well for placing things. Nature is not perfect and neither am I. So this does not look like an absolutely perfect citrus that comes out of the die cutter. This looks like a Tamra version of a citrus that came out of the die cutter. It looks cute, it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be citrus looking. So now I'm gluing on the back of the umbrella. So I just put a little bit of glue on the lines and then take the umbrella and put it over the top. The little, um, knob thing sticks out of the top and the sticks stick out of the bottom and I am choosing instead of using the stick that comes with the die I'm choosing to use a little bamboo skewer and this is just like a normal dollar store bamboo skewer and I'm just cutting it down and then I'm going to use an owl to poke through the foam of the shaker and I'm making sure to do it at an angle um, so that it just kind of goes through and makes the hole before I stick the bamboo skewer in. I just liked the permanence and the firmness of the actual stick instead of the paper. The paper works great, but I just wanted to do this instead. And so I put a little tiny bit of hot glue on it and then stuck it in there and I'm holding it in place and then just making sure to go back in and ensure that no sequins are going to escape through the little hole right above it. Trimming the bamboo skewer again, and then I'm going to glue my umbrella on at an angle. The first one I did, I did it straight up and down, and it looks a little bit funky to me. So I wanted to make sure that I glue them at an angle from this point forward. Alrighty, now it's time to put the ringy thingy the, I don't know what it's called, the same thing that you use for the foam around the top to cover up the foam and any of the glue, just kind of like cleans the whole shaker thing up. And I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I wanted the salted rim, and so I didn't put it on right away, but I do end up putting it on a little bit. So I'm gonna hot glue this little citrus on here on the edge right underneath the umbrella. It's as though the umbrella is stabbed into my fantasy citrus there. And voila, she is just about done. I'm gonna glue it onto the place card so that it can stay there. And these do stand up. Um, I'm using white core cardstock that's 110 pound weight. So you have to be really gentle as you fold it. Otherwise you're gonna see that white kind of popping through. And here I am, I'm like, should I put the salt on? Should I not put the salt on? None of the others have the salt on. Well, this girl who ordered this drink, she likes the salt friends. And so she's having some salt. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that little salty piece on and it is finished. Thank you for hanging out with me and everything that I used in this video is linked below in this in the description box. 
And thank you to Erica from Scrap Diva for giving me the opportunity to play with this adorable die. See you next time, friends.